Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Adalina, I'm an illustrator, and today I'm showing you the differences I found between drawing digitally and drawing traditionally. I recently stepped into the digital world, and I understand the feeling of loss when you have to deal with so many options. But let's start drawing with traditional tools. I usually use two pencils, a colored one for the sketch and the standard gray one for the final drawing. Then I have two erasers, a precision one and a standard one. In the end, I'm going to use also a paper blender. I'm going to draw the same girl portrait using the same photo as reference. At first, I draw simple shapes with the red pencil. I start with a circle for the head, a vertical line for the nose and mouth, and an horizontal line for the eyes. I then add the jaws and the hair. In this phase, I stay very loose with the pencil and I focus only on the shapes, on the flow and on the composition. I really like to feel the roughness of the paper under the pencil. It's a feeling that I can hardly feel when I draw on my tablet. In the last part of the sketch, I define better the eyes the nose and the mouth. As usual, I have a hard time positioning the second eye. When I think the sketch is ok, I take the mechanical pencil and I define all the features. If I'd planned to paint it with watercolors, I'd let the sketch as it is and I'd go on top with the color. Since this is a drawing demo, I spend more time defining the sketch with the graphite. As I said in the beginning, I blend the grey with a small paper blender. If you don't have one, you can also use a Q-tip. I simply trace some lines where I want to put some shadows or where I want to better define volumes and then I blend them with the blender tip. I suggest you to use a brush when you want to clean the paper, otherwise if you use your hands, you're going to smudge the graphite everywhere on the paper. I use a simple eraser if I want to clean some parts, but it would be better to use a kneadable eraser. This type of eraser removes the graphite a little at a time in a very smooth way. I use a white pen for the dots on the pupil and I continue to repeat the same steps. First, I trace lines with the pencil, then I blend them until I'm happy with the result.
Here is the final drawing. I could go farther with the details, but I didn't want to overdo it. More than that, I love how the eyes pop out thanks to the red graphite underneath. Now I'll try to draw the same girl portrait using my Wacom tablet and Photoshop as tools. As I said before, I started to use the digital tools just a few months ago, so I don't know like all the features of Photoshop. I feel like it has endless possibilities, so I'll never stop learning and discovering new things. In Photoshop I can also use colored paper for my drawing, just with one click. I add a new layer and fill it with the color I like. Then I create a new layer for the sketch. It's really important to draw on a new layer, because if I'd draw on the colored one and I'd use the eraser at some point, I'd also erase the color of the paper, not only the graphite. So I start with this fusy pencil and a ginger color for the sketch. I do the same steps as before. I stay very loose and I try to never use the eraser in this phase. It's easy to not use the eraser since you have the undo button. Ctrl plus Z allows you to undo the latest lines you drew and will make your life easier. Sometimes I search the undo button even when I draw traditionally. Another thing you can do digitally is flipping the image whenever you want, so you can check if the proportions are ok. I use this option very often, especially for checking the eyes position. When I feel the sketch is ok, I create a new layer for the final drawing and I reduce the opacity of the previous one. I also change the color of the pencil as I did for the traditional drawing. A great option you have is the lasso tool. With this tool you select a part of your drawing and move it or transform it as you want. Maybe you want the eye to be bigger or smaller or more stretched. With the traditional tools I would be forced to erase the eye and draw it again. Here I can change the things without redrawing. The downside is that by doing so you draw less and you practice less in my opinion. I add a new layer to color with graphite. The new layer allows me to be able to erase the color without erasing the drawing. In this phase, I keep changing the opacity of the pencil. In this way, I can apply more than one layer of color and create intensity where I need.
the substitute of my paper blender is the smudge tool. When I draw digitally, I feel more confident adding unusual lines and in general I love exploring. I know I can go back whenever I want, so I'm not afraid of making mistakes. If you're always afraid of ruining your drawings by trying new things, then you should use the digital tools. Sometimes it's good to leave your comfort zone. In the end I use another layer to color the hair. I use the same pencil and color, always adjusting the opacity. I create a first layer of color, then I go on top again to create some shadows at the bottom and under the bangs.
So this is the final result. There is some difference in color with the traditional drawing, since there I used the red pencil and I couldn't erase it. The digital drawing took me more time, like an hour, but this is because of the endless possibilities to change things around. So here are the pros and cons I found after this demo. What I must appreciate of the traditional process is the feeling of the paper surface and the tools I'm using. More than this, it pushes you to draw more because you can't erase too many times when drawing, so you practice more. Among the cons, there is definitely the fear of making mistakes. Then it's also true that you can use only the tools you have or that you can afford. You can't change too much the drawing, especially when you're towards the end of the process. You have also to spend some time if you need to turn it into a digital file. The pros of the digital drawing process are the possibility to choose among a lot of tools and colors and to change things at any time. You also have at the end a digital file that you can easily post online or send to a client. On the other side, you may feel overwhelmed by all the possibilities you have and at the same time you may become a little too fussy and so you're going to spend more time on one drawing. You'll also lose the contact with real tools and paper and because of so many shortcuts such as the lasso tool, you may draw less than you think. If I forgot something, let me know in the comments below. It would be very useful to know more about your experience with digital or traditional tools. And if you liked the video, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye!